Hey there, today I'm going to teach you how to draw Ben Tennyson from Ben 10 Omniverse. So let's start with the right eye. So here I'm going to draw the upper eyelid. So we're going to start at the inside eye, come up to a peak, and then come down on one side. And then we're going to draw the pupil. So he's got quite large pupils. So up here, we're just going to draw a partial circle that kind of gets tucked in underneath the eyelid. And then just under here, I'm just going to draw a short straight line for the bottom of the eyelid. So let's go up to the eyebrow. So here, I'm just going to go inside a little bit from the point of the inside point of the eye. I'm going to come up and then swoop down just on the outside part of that eye. And then here I'm going to thicken it up by tapering a line that starts off thin, comes up thick, and then gets thin again. Let's go to the inside eye on the left side here. So I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to draw the curve. So I'm going to leave a gap in between. I'm going to draw a curve that goes up and then down. So it's at the same height as this eye on the right. And then again, I'm going to draw a partial circle for the pupil. And then I'll draw a short line underneath the eye. And from here, at this point here, from where the pupil meets the eyelid, I'm going to draw a curve out, and then curve that back in slightly, and I'm coming down here. Then I'll move over to the right and just draw a little hash line. That would be for the nostril. And then for the eyebrow, I'm just going to start on the outside part of the eye, come up along the middle, and then down towards the eyelid. And then again, I'll thicken that up on one side here, going straight up, making it thicker in the middle, and then coming down where it tapers off to a point. Let's go into the mouth. So just below the nose, I'm going to draw a downward curve. So here, I'm just going to draw a wide curve, just like this. Kind of from the inside middle of that eye to the inside of this eye here. Then on the ends, I'm just going to curve them up on both sides, just like that. Okay, let's go to the eyebrow over here. And from here, I'm going to draw a straight line out, just to the same level as that mouth. And then from here, I'm going to curve in and then kind of curve back out towards the chin. And from here, I'll draw a straight line across for the chin. And then from here, I'm going to bring the, uh, the jaw up towards the ear, about this high. So I'll go out and curve up. All right, let's go up to the hair. So from here, it gets a little bit easier because we've already built our structure for the face. So here, let's start where the eye is and curve a line out. This will be the outside part of the hair. From here, I'm going to go up and curve that in. So, and then we'll go into the inside bangs of the hair. So from here on the eyebrow, I'll come up and I'll curl a line in between the eyes. Okay, so it's not touching the eyebrow. I'll curl up above that eyebrow, come down. You can actually touch that eyebrow there. Come up. And this is where the hair curls around the ear. So it's curled and touch that eyebrow and come back out and in. And then we'll curl that line back up. Now this is where we can sort of block in the ear. So he's got big square ears. So I'll come out, come straight down. And then from here, I'm going to connect the point to where the jaw is, just about there. And if you want, you can do a slight little overlap if you want. Here at the top, let's curl some hair out, curl in. And then come down to where this hair would meet the part in the head. So here, I'm going to draw a curve out, curve that back, back in, curve out, back in, and then we'll just block, finish the side of the hair just like that. All right? It's not bad. Okay, now let's go into, actually he's got some hair on the back of his head, so let's start around here underneath that ear. We'll curl out, and we'll curl back in, we'll curl out. Back in. So just a three series of little jagged lines that kind of stick out underneath that ear behind the head. And then right in the middle of the chin, I'm going to draw a line straight down. From here where that hair meets the jaw, I'm going to do a straight line down. And I'll curl the collar around, just like that. Let's get into the shoulders. So here, just above that collar, I'm going to draw a curve out. And then from this point, I'm going to draw a curve out. Equal distance on both sides. For the chest, from this point, I'm just going to do a curve for now. I'm just going to leave that like that for now. Let's go to the shoulder. So from here, I'm going to curve out towards the sleeve. And from this point here where I connected, I'm going to draw a curve like so. So this is the seam where the arm attaches to the body. And then from this point, I'm going to draw a straight line out. 
and I'll curve this line and connect it to that outside line there. Let's draw in the, the, uh, the bicep, so we'll draw a line straight down. So continue this line just like that. We'll cut them up a little bit here and draw a straight line to the elbow. And then here I could just finish that off by curling that line in the opposite direction. Let's get into the forearm. So from here, I'm going to draw an angled line up and then straight towards where his omnitrix would be on his wrist. And from here, I'm going to curve a line towards that wrist again. Okay, let's do a really simple wash. So here I'm just going to do an overlap with a curve, just like that, over the, over the wrist. And from here, draw two lines leading towards the hand. And then I'll draw a curve just to finish that off. And if you want, you can draw some thickness here. So why don't you just draw a line just like that. And if you want to get a little fancy, you can draw a little square inside for the screen. All right. Now, actually, let's draw his back. So here, from this point where his shoulder, or from where his arm meets his body, I'll draw an angled line inwards. And it comes straight down and tuck that in behind that wrist. Let's draw the fist. So here, I'm going to curve a line out towards the knuckle of the thumb. Straight out, then down. So then the thumb gets tucked in behind the index finger, which kind of looks like that. And from here, I'm just going to draw a curve, just like that, just to show the knuckle line, all right? And then from here, I'm just going to tuck in a couple of knuckles, just like that, and then finish this off by bringing that hand in behind that watch. Now here, I can go in and finish off the body, tuck that in behind that hand. Same thing with behind here. So if I imagine this line coming down behind that wrist and kicking out like that, and I'll finish that off with a curve for the shirt. Here I can draw his other opposite hand, so it'll be facing this way. So from here, let's imagine the wrist comes in like so, with a line like this. I'll draw the opposite side here, and then we'll draw a first line going towards the knuckle. Come across, like so into a block and just finish it off like that and then from here I'm just going to curl that a line towards the wrist. Here I'm going to throw out a line in the opposite direction as this and come straight up and then we'll start to block in the fingers. So just inside of that thumb line I'm going to draw in a square and then just kind of layer these in beside each other just like that and then from here I'll draw a curve just like that just to show a little bit of the meat of the, of the palm. Last but not least, let's get into the logo on the shirt. So he's got the number 10 on the shirt. So if I imagine a line coming down with the curve of his body, that's the center line. So I want the one on one side and the zero on the other. So let's draw the one side of the one. So a little curve like this, following the same curve as the outside of the body. From here, I'll draw an angle down, come down and towards the side here. And then I'll draw a line down and then finish that off at the bottom. And then I'll draw the 10. So here's the one side of the 10. And this is basically just a rectangle. So you see that I'm just making sure that I line it up on the top of the one, the bottom of the one, I'll come down. And then I'll just kind of thicken that up with a small line inside. And then you've got a big strip that comes down the body. So I'm gonna start up here and go up towards the neck. I'll start here as well and go up towards the neck, leaving a little bit of space so I can draw a curve that kind of comes around. I think that's what it looks like. And down across the shoulder, down the arm, and then again across the cuff of the sleeve. So you can see that I'm leaving that space almost equal all the way around. And then if I imagine these two lines coming down, I will finish this line down the body. Same with this one, I'll come down just like that. And I think that's it. There we have it. There's Ben Tennyson from Ben 10 Omniverse. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give it a like and we'll see you again soon.